we're asked to find the domain and range on this one. And this one, um, remember, it's the same thing as y equals 2. Okay, this is just in our function notation. If you want to type it into your calculator, it'll uh, actually be the f1 of x equals 2 is going to be fine. So we want to graph this one. You can do it on your calculator. You can do it by hand. Either way, it works just fine. If we graph it, we find out that we have a horizontal line right here, right at 2. Okay, and that's y equals 2. It's always going to be the same y value. When we're finding domain and range, the thing that I found to be easiest is if we can draw a line or maybe take a pen and just drag it across. Now, if we, as we drag this across for all of our x values, it hits all of those. All of those are the x values. And we have arrows, meaning that these x values continue. If it were um, an x value of 20, it would be way out here. Uh, but it would intersect there as well. So the domain on this one is um, negative infinity to positive infinity. And anytime you use infinity, we're going to use parentheses. Now, infinity, meaning it, it just continues on, it hits all the x values. And we've got negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, meaning it hits everything in between these two numbers. All right. Now we need to look at the range. And the range are all of our possible y values. So the same thing is going to occur here. I just take something um, and I drag it across. And as I drag this one, I notice it's not going to intersect any of these here. So as I drag it across, it's not intersecting anything here right up until I hit this one. And then it hits on 2. It definitely hits 2. Um, but it doesn't hit anything past 2. So the only y value on this one is going to be plain old 2. Now, when it includes that number, we use brackets. Okay, if it does not include that number, we use parentheses. And that sounds kind of weird because we've got infinity that we're using parentheses on. However, infinity we can't ever really reach, so that's why we use parentheses on it. But if you can just learn the rule that if it includes the number, we're going to use the brackets like this. If it does not include the number, we'll use parentheses.